Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm the Jacobian Dev and in this video, I'll be going through how we can get and display our Revit 2 and 3D model views in the APS viewer. Here I've got a viewer with a 3D model loaded and the model views on the right. These are the plan, elevation and 3D views in the Revit model, which I'll toggle through. In order to be able to display these views, they need to be included in the published settings in Revit. I'll navigate to Revit where I have the model open. In the Collaborate tab, I'll open the published settings. Here I've included a set named Set1 with all the views I've selected below. Next, I'll navigate to Visual Studio Code to see how to get the views using the APS Viewer APIs. Here I've got the model earned translated with the views set included. I'll take a look at the on document load success function where we can get the views to display. Here I get the default model, which will be the default 3D view. I then get the viewables, which are the Revit model views by searching for type geometry. I'll then log the viewables to the console. Next, I'll navigate to the console. Here we can see that the views logged are in the set 1 view set that was included in Revit. The viewable ID is then used to load the view in the React app. Back in Visual Studio Code, we can see the logic to load the default or the selected model. Next, I'll navigate to Postman, where I'll go through how to quickly translate the model to generate the model earn. The collection I'm using is from the APS Model Derivative APIs. I've added a link in the description. We can then navigate to the GitHub repo to download the collection. Next, I'll demonstrate what happens if the view set is not included in Revit. I'll navigate to Revit. I'll uncheck Set1 in the Publish Settings. This will just publish the default 3D view and the 2D sheets. I'll then save the changes. I'll then navigate back to Postman. I'll start by getting the access token using my app credentials. The request returns the access token successfully, which will be used in the other requests. Next, I'll create the bucket from the OSS bucket key, which is the bucket name. Once that's done, I'll then obtain the signed URL. Next, I'll upload the file. I'll navigate to the Documents folder and select the HVAC Revit file. I'll then send the request to upload the file. The model uploads successfully. Next, I'll finalize the model upload. I'll then proceed to translate the model. I'll translate the model to SVF2. And send the request. The translation job starts successfully. Next, I'll check the translation job progress, which is zero since the translation job just started. After a while, I'll send another request to check the progress again. As we can see, this time the model is successfully translated. I'll then copy the model earn. I'll navigate back to Visual Studio Code and create an earn views variable. Which will be the model earn I just copied. I'll replace all instances of the existing earn variable with earn views. I'll then save and navigate back to the Views React app. I'll refresh and we can see that only the default 3D views are available. I'll then navigate back to Visual Studio Code. 
I'll use the previous earn with the included set of views. And after a quick refresh, the views in the set now display in the React app. That should be it for this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.